Hi, I'm Shraddha Kadakya and I specialize in commercial photography. I'm even the founder of Just Click Image Making Company. I picked up my first camera at the age of 16 and photography is not just a passion anymore, but a full-time profession. On Shoot It Right, we'll be discussing about every aspect of photography which will help all your budding photographers to shed their amateur tag and move on to the next level. I'm sure we are all fascinated on seeing perfectly captured action images of car, bike, waterfall or raindrops. Want to know the secret behind how to capture speeding objects? All you need to know is basic trips on low and high speed photography using your shutter speed on your DSLR. We even have a click tip of the day, so stay tuned. Camera shutter works very similar to a garage shutter. In garage shutter, we let the car inside and in our case, here we let the light inside. So what is shutter? Shutter is simply the set of curtains placed inside the camera body. When I click the shutter release button to take a picture, the curtains open up to allow the light to pass through and hit on the sensor to capture the image. Let's understand where exactly shutter is placed. As you see here, when I click the shutter release button, the mirror goes up and you can see the shutter. Shutter is placed between the sensor and the mirror. Shutter speed has two major roles to play when capturing the picture. Firstly, it decides the brightness of the picture. Secondly, it decides whether to make the motion visible or frozen. Let's talk about the brightness. When the shutter is open for a longer period of time, more amount of light hits on the sensor, making the image look brighter. And when it closes fast, less amount of light gets in, so you get darker images. As for the type of motion you would want to capture, higher shutter speed gives you freezing frame, making your object look completely sharp. And lower shutter speed gives you a creative feel by giving your object a blur effect. Let us now understand how to set your camera on shutter priority mode. To do that, all you have to do is change your mode dial to TV mode. TV mode stands for time value. When you do that, all you have to do is change the shutter speed and other settings are automatically done by your camera. To change the shutter speed, you have to turn the dial clockwise to get higher shutter speed and anti-clockwise to get lower shutter speed. Let us now go out and take images at different shutter speed to understand this more practically. So now I'm going to take pictures of my dear friend riding his bike, keeping my camera shutter at 1 4,000th of a second which is the higher shutter speed and lowering it down till lower numbers to see the desired results what we'll be getting at different different shutter speeds. Recap. Today we learned what is a camera shutter, how does it work and how you are able to capture high and low shutter speed images changing the shutter speed on your DSLR. Today's click tip of the day. When you are trying your hands on low shutter speed photography, make sure your camera is placed on a rock steady object. Keeping your camera in hand will give you blurry images. That's all for now. Leave a comment below if you have anything to ask. Do subscribe to us. Let's decode the DSLR together. Happy clicking.